Welcome to Electro Online. In this video, we're going to discuss what we mean by the fine structure. What is that? Well, it turns out when we take a very careful look at the H alpha line, and of course the H alpha line is the line when the electron jumps from the third energy level down to the second energy level, it gives us that beautiful red color. When we look at that line very carefully under very high resolution, we actually see that it's a doublet, two very closely spaced lines together. And it doesn't matter if we look at hydrogen or deuterium, looking at the deuteron, again, we'll see the very closely spaced two lines representing the H alpha jump, the, the uh, first Balmer series jump, where the electron jumps from the third to the second energy, giving us a visible photon of red light. The wavelength is about 656 nanometers, but you can see the very narrow spacing between the two. Matter of fact, the spacing between the two is somewhere in the order of 0.016 nanometers. So you can see that they're very, very closely spaced together. Now, there's a slight difference between the H alpha line that we get from a deuteron versus a single hydrogen atom. The difference, it's only 0.2 nanometers, is because the deuteron has a neutron in its nucleus which causes the reduced mass to be a little bit different and we'll talk about the reduced mass affecting the, the wavelengths that we get from the, the, the uh, electron jumps and we'll talk about that in a different video. So what is causing this split? Why do we see those two very fine lines very closely spaced together? Well, it turns out it's actually caused by the interaction between the spin of the electron. All small particles like that have intrinsically a spin property. It's kind of like something turning on its own axis, although it's not quite that for the electron, but it has the same kind of property as spinning on its own axis. And that spin interacts with the magnetic field produced by the orbital motion of the electron. Essentially, since the electron zips around the nucleus very fast, very quickly, it produces an effect of current. And of course, that current produces a magnetic field. If you turn your fingers in the direction of the current, the thumb points in the direction of the magnetic field. So the interaction between the spin direction and the magnetic field, it's what causes that fine structure because it turns out that the spin direction can either be spin up or spin down. Now, it's not exactly the way we've shown here, but essentially that's what it is. The electron can spin in one direction or it can flip over and spin in the other direction. Again, that's quantum mechanically. And then you can see the interaction would be different between the spin direction and magnetic field in this case and the spin direction and magnetic field in this case. This ends up being a higher energy state. This ends up being a lower energy state. So depending upon from which point, from which interaction, the electron jumps from one level to another, if it jumps from a spin up condition versus spin down condition, there's going to be a slight difference in the energy transition during that transition, which causes a slight difference in the wavelength of the photon that's generated with a very small difference in the wavelength. Now, the energy difference between those two lines represents a very small energy of 0.000045 electron volts, 4.5 times 10 to the minus electron volts. And knowing that the energy of a H alpha line is typically in the order of about 1.8, 1.9 electron volts, you can see that's just a very tiny fraction and therefore a very small difference. But nevertheless, it is there. They had to figure out why that line, that double line was there. It's called the doublet. And of course, they found by looking at the interaction between the spin and the orbital motion, the interaction between the magnetic field of orbital motion and the spin direction of the electron, it calls for a slight different difference in the energies. That's what we mean by the fine structure. The fine structure is the fact that you see a very small differentiation in the lines there caused by this interaction. That's how we know.